was President Bush who was the one that said that, in, you know, we have to have these immigrants come over on this guest worker program to do the jobs that Americans want to do. And <laughs> right now, Americans should buck up and say, somebody's got to do that job, or somebody should. Uh, but they won't. Well, that's, this is the unfortunate part that we do to our own society, though. Why is there, why if I could stay at home and make 60% of my salary or whatever, not working either through some sort of uh, uh, unemployment benefits or through some benefits through maybe the union that I, you know, worked for that I get laid off from, if there's no incentive for me to go out and work, I'm not going to work. Why? If I can make that much money not doing anything, when I get out and say, I'm going to get out and crawl on my hands and knees and pick strawberries. A lot of the discussion focused on immigration, you know, 150 years ago versus immigration now. Those people would do anything to live in this country. They would, you know, pick cotton or, you know, shine harvest shoes. oranges or shine shoes or whatever it is. Whereas nowadays, people go, uh, you know, that welfare check and that unemployment check I get work just fine. The f I can go apply for food stamps if I get out of money. You know, there's no, there's no real incentive to go do a really terrible job because the government's going to make sure you get to eat. Mm -hmm. And you're going to probably be able to, you know, have a roof over your head. And so doing a job like that that isn't fun and, you know, is hard manual labor is something that people today are not willing to do, at least in this country. They are still in Mexico. They are, they are still willing to do that. They're not willing to do it here. Like, like it's been said, we all came here as immigrants, or most of us did in some way, shape, or form. And maybe my great grandparents, you know, would clean the sewers and 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 you know do jobs that many of us would find demeaning today. You know, because they would do anything, like you said, Courtney, to make it. But something about maybe maybe a lot of us are just spoiled these days. And now this new group of immigrants wants to come here, and they'll do anything. But unfortunately, the way the society has been in America, do you think that their kids are going to, if their kids grow up in America knowing that they could get a free check, a free ride, or not have to work for anything, or not have to pay your taxes, and still get free education? And that's just That just creates a whole another generation of people with a problem that need to change their mindset. And I think that's a problem. It goes back to changing what the root problem is. It's the entitlement problem. It's the entitlement problem. And that's really the root of it all. It's the root of our own problem. Um, I mean, just like us, you know, just like people would complain about a spoiled child sometimes, you know, we might have uh, spoiled ourselves. That all comes back to the economic issues and the fact that we are shipping jobs overseas and doing all of that because People are like, oh, we need cheap labor in order to compete with the rest of the world. We can't compete with things made in China and India and places where there aren't minimum wage issues. It's very, very difficult to come up with an answer to a question that's that big.